Hello everybody, my name is Mike Koenig and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 La Resistance where we are carrying on as Democratic China or Republic, the Republic of China as it were right now and we are in the ending phases of the war with the Russians and this campaign as a whole. Now we did have yet another front breakout uh, after the collapse of most of the Axis last episode Nationalist Spain and Portugal decided to jump in the fray here, at which point I did it, I did send a lot of air power over here, guys. But as one of the viewers here, uh, Wendy Delise, rightly pointed out, um, I'm not getting any war score out of this, really. And furthermore, they don't need my help over here, so I'm not actually going to help them. Uh, where we're going to get our war score out of and what benefits us the most is sending this air power over towards uh, to take care of Russia. Now, where where that lands us, uh, you know, uh, on the war with the Axis, I don't really care. As far as I'm concerned, that war is done. The, the main mission was to beat Germany, not the Axis necessarily. We already knocked out Japan. Uh, Germany actually made a separate peace deal. They didn't, as, you know... The rest of the Axis nations continued on fighting, so they got their sweetheart deal. They got to keep their precious little chunk of land here, although they do still have this uh, corridor here that belongs to the Poles, possibly setting up World War III. Good job, guys. Glad everyone uh, learned their lesson here. So we have the Americans closing in from the north. We're closing in from the east, and the Australians managed to take Sevastopol here, and they are pushing in from the uh, southwest. So all in all, I mean, they don't have a lot of troops here yet, but it's looking like they're bringing in more. And the Americans are also going to jump in on that, of course, like they do. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this is going to be it for them. We did manage to take Stalingrad, and we are going to, in fact, uh, destroy a Soviet division. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Apologize for that. Springtime is the worst time for me to uh, be a YouTuber because of the damn allergies. So, uh, let's go ahead and get right back into this. Uh, the Russians are trying sporadically to uh, organize a defense here and there, but obviously uh, they're just setting themselves up to get cut off and surrounded, which is fine by me. They can do whatever they want, but uh, wow. Ooh, a marsh, marsh province, you say? Okay. Well, that's a problem. Well, you know what? We're, these divisions are going to get cut off anyway. And they are sending this division up there. So we'll just go ahead and wait. Wait them out. Uh, attacking into a marsh is nightmarish, even though we do outnumber them and likely are better equipped. Let's see. What does their uh, equipment look like? Okay. Yeah, their divisions are, are quite nicely organized from what I can tell here. All right. What do we got? We got yet another... Uh, yeah, this is our new army, and they should be training. This is our new infantry army. Anything else here? No, that's fine. Alright, what is this? <laughs> okay, well, we have a problem here, guys, but not as big of a problem as they have. I'm guessing they got pushed off of that. No, they didn't even have to get pushed off. I didn't own that. Portugal owned that. Oh, guys. Well, you know, I'm glad I actually had a good look around now. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and deal with these guys. Hey, look. Your guys' is first uh, offensive is here. I mean, these guys are going to get cut off right away, but I thought that that's very big oversight on my part. And as we speak, they're probably coming to land more divisions in right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, send another one of these uh, port defense units up here to double down on that to make sure that they don't get to reinforce. Oof. Well, I'm glad I caught this now rather than before they flooded a ton of divisions in. And guys, another thing that I'm doing at uh, the request, uh, well, at the suggestion of viewer is I am... Why are they going this way? That makes no sense. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm sending our Marine Task Force over here, and we are going to do a uh, 
naval landing in the south of Spain. And depending on what it looks like up over here in Portugal, we may hook left and uh, take out Lisbon, or we may just drive really far north into uh, try to take out Madrid. So what do we got here? Okay, good. Just in time. Oh, man. Oh, that was stupid. All right, so you guys got to get down here. Uh, hurry, please. All right, actually, let's have you go over here. I don't like wild divisions roaming around. Uh, Mauritania capitulated. Not a big surprise. Okay, so we did take Macau, so that one division there is cut off entirely. Alrighty. So what are we doing here? We have an extra military factory. Uh, we could do advanced anti-air. Ooh, I do want to upgrade our close air support in case uh, this conflict lasts a bit longer than we thought it might. And where is my navy? What do you mean no accessible regions? Yes, there's definitely accessible regions. I have told you to come over here. Interesting. Well, these guys have it right, but these guys do not. So let's have you go ahead and come down over here. Actually... Okay, why can you, why can you not get out, or why will you not get out? Interesting. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I have my other fleet on the way as it is. Um, okay, so let's make sure we're always moving forward here, taking some territory. Let's do it. Hurry, hurry, please. And let's go ahead and do this. That will cut off all of the enemy divisions down here, of which it doesn't look like they have all that many. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's take all this territory, guys. Just take it all. Okay, you're taking what? You take that. And they're trying to cut us off. That's not going to work. Let's actually go up like that. You actually come here. Alright, come on guys. Let's make a beeline. I th oh, we got to try to get Moscow before the Americans do. Uh, let's hook south down this way with our tank division here. And it's taken a long time for uh, the rest of our divisions to get caught up. Why? Why are you not doing this? Huh. Oh, I know why. Because they got added into this uh, army group late. So no, let's not do that. Seriously, let's get the entire, actually, yeah, just the task force alone. We'll start our own separate front line down here. Or will we? No, because they already have one. So, come on. Get assigned here. Let's go, guys. There we go. Much better, much better. Okay, for some reason they got de-assigned from that order. Let's take this off. Now we gotta go occupy all this stuff again. Thank you, Portugal. A for effort. You tried. Uh, you guys come down here. You come... Just take all this. Take all this back. Dicks. Okay, there we go. Oof. Yeah, seriously glad I caught that before um, they move more divisions in. I don't know where their closest, uh, their next closest uh, piece of land is. But, uh, yeah, if they sent some troops from the mainland, that would have been real bad. Real, real bad. Close air support, please. Okay. All right. I've got to make a drive. Gotta make a drive for, uh, Moscow. Actually, you come up this way. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, this division is temporarily cut off. Won't be for long.
There we go. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a win here. Okay, very good. Very good. We could come, turn south and take Tbilisi if we wanted. Uh, but really what, what I want to do mostly is just get all this. So I'll come down over here. Back up this way. You take all those. And you come down this way. Oh, God. I hate that I have to actually tell them to do this. Even though it's set... It, I do have... Uh, guys, I do have this set to aggressive. Uh, the, um, the offensive, so... Okay, we got them. They're going to be cut off and destroyed. So, actually, let's have... Yeah, let's actually try to get this cut off here. So you come this way. And we can get that cut off there. Destroy you. There we go. Much better. No. No, 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 no. See, I, I gotta get this uh, front line evened up here because this is causing all sorts of mayhem in the unit's pathfinding. So actually, you come down here. Cut these two divisions off. There we go. Alright, and we did get this cut off here. Uh, we've sliced the peninsula in two, and I don't believe they have any ports. Okay, they have one port, but can they actually supply? No, they cannot, because they have no northern ports. So yeah, that is effectively cut off. Okay, these guys are now dead. Okay, that's four more Russian divisions off the map. And what's this? Oh, they had a tank division that is really poorly equipped. Yeah, their equipment, guys, looks like it's on its last legs. You come up there. Alright, yeah, they can't last a whole lot longer here. We gotta make that drive from Moscow. Dudes. And I want our fastest units to do so. Uh, you come down across. Keep cutting off divisions wherever we may. You come up to Lepetsk, and we will follow on. Okay, yeah, this is working out somewhat okay-ish. Go down and take Rostov from them. Try to get all of these uh, victory points in hand to help the Russians capitulate. There we go. Free military factory, again, put it into close air support. There we go. And how are we looking over here? All right, yeah, we're sinking the remnants, the few remnants left of, uh, the, you know, whatever they have for a navy. Oh man, we're losing, yeah, we're definitely losing some uh, subs down here. That doesn't make me happy, but at the same time, I'm not too concerned about it at this phase of the game. Okay, good. Our marine divisions are en route, and it looks like they're going to disembark here. Why would they do that? I wonder. Well, I guess they have to. Yeah. Okay. Alright, fine. And how... Uh, wow, the Allies still haven't managed to do much to us. Uh, well, I, it looks like they've stopped the Spanish. They've definitely stopped them, but they're not pushing them back, which I'm surprised at, considering the might of the Allies versus... But National Spain and uh, Portugal, who else do they have in here with them? No, nope. looks like it's almost all National Spain. I mean, I guess they have been saving up their divisions basically the entire war. So they don't really have, they haven't really 
had anything to spend their military equipment on. Okay, there we go. Let's get all this back. You bastards. Okay, two more military factories. Looks like we are running a bit behind on infantry equipment, which is ridiculous that someone of our stature would be so short on supplies. Okay, this just, oof. All they really have left are subs now, it looks like. And some destroyer escorts. But they're trying to keep uh, our subs at bay. United Kingdom exerts influence in Turkey. Naval supremacy, but it, okay. Well, we'll see what happens with that. That could actually be interesting. Yeah, just sinking convoys. Nothing too exciting here. All right, we are closing in, but... Oh, no, the Americans have a free shot. They're not even defending up there in, anymore. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. You can do this. Come on. Go for Moscow. We're faster than they are. This is my the fastest unit I have right now. Wait, max speed. One kilometer... Oh, large river, infrastructure, forest. Uh, yeah, motorized probably would have been the better choice here, but whatever. I, it's as fast as they can go, okay? Leave me alone. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Help him out. Let's get the wins. Let's get the wins. Keep going, keep going, take territory. Don't know what you think you're doing, but you need to stop. No, no, no. You come down over here. Okay, we did reduce that pocket. That is good. Alright, and you guys actually come up over here. You don't need to be down there. Come down over this way. There we go. Now that's a win. That's a win we could feel good about. Uh, let's see. Let's let's clean this up a bit. There we go. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, that works fine. Um, all right, guys, let's get this over with, shall we? Let's go ahead and take this victory point here. We'll come down, we'll take all the border territory. Or actually, no, we should just go take Tbilisi. I forgot that we're at war with them, too. Very poor choice of friends, if I do say so myself. Georgia. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, this isn't even like actual naval battles anymore. Uh, let's do a little bit more infantry equipment. We are taking attrition uh, from the terrain and from supply and all that, which I think is what's kind of really killing our our most basic of supplies. Okay, let's actually widen this up with the armor to make sure we don't get cut off. Okay, that's another cut off there. Can we do it? Can we do it? So guys, I'm really interested in your opinions on the next on the next campaign that we have. Now, a few ideas have been thrown out. Uh, Portugal has been thrown out as an idea. Uh, Egypt or uh, even Iran has been thrown out as an idea for the next uh, campaign. And I really want to do something different that I haven't necessarily done yet. Uh, there was a request for a Kaiserreich Ottoman Empire playthrough, which isn't off the table, but again, we have done a an Ottoman playthrough before using the Great War mod, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was difficult, but fun. So, I mean, it's not completely off the table, like I said. And also, uh, it doesn't have to be vanilla. It doesn't have to be any one thing, but I would like it to be something I haven't done before. Now, obviously, with Kaiserreich, there's so much to that mod, you can play it 50 different ways with 50 different countries and never have a similar experience each time. 
you know, it's so much replayability on that mod, which is just one of the reasons it is near and dear to my heart. So go ahead and throw out your ideas. I may put up a poll just to help kind of clarify things because uh, a lot of good ideas have been thrown out. Some of them are going to be yours. Some will be mine. And uh, yeah, we'll see what comes out in the wash because I want, I do like you guys to have a say on pretty much everything that does happen on this channel. And so far, you guys have not steered me wrong yet. Okay, we got rocket artillery. Rocket artillery upgrade, yes. Let's see here. All right. So what I would like to do, I know we're potentially near the end here, guys, but what I would like to have happen here is we start to build some rocket artillery and see how much we can produce before the end of the episode. Let's go ahead and do this. Toad Rocket Artillery. Yeah. Oh boy, do I love me some rocket artillery. Let's go ahead and get this way up towards the top. And what are we way over on? Let's take down Modern Tank Destroyer by a lot. Please. Uh, yep, also motorized. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can take the tack bombers down by some. We're way overstocked on those. We'll do more rocket artillery. And none of this is going to make that much of an impact at the beginning anyway, because the efficiency has to get up. But I want rocket artillery, and I want it in a big way. There, an even 30 to start us out. That's doing six and a half a day to start. And I suspect that that uh, efficiency will climb rapidly. Okay, where is our smaller fleet here? Okay, good. Now let's assign these three battleships and that destroyer to this fleet here to help us out with our uh, naval invasion. And where are the marines, as a matter of fact? Where are you guys? It's taking the train across Africa, like you do. It's probably faster than going all the way around uh, southern Africa, so... I imagine it must be, otherwise the AI probably wouldn't do it. Alright, are we going to get it? No, give us Moscow! Okay, you're just going to stop outside of Moscow? Sweet, I will take it then. Please, please, I want Moscow. I fought for it way harder than you guys, way longer. You guys weren't even fighting Russia before. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there, baby. Ooh, how fast are you going? Still doing one kilometer an hour. God. You bastards. Okay, but they are about to break out. No, it's hills there. But it's better than forest, I believe. I could be mistaken. Okay, more marines. Yay. Yay. How are you guys doing over here? Looks like they are slowly pushing the Spanish back now. Pro likely due to... The, the Spanish must be running low on equipment at some point. I know that... I know we played Spain last time. Their production power isn't great at all. And especially not in the hands of AI. Okay, so let's do... Fighter Ace Initiative. No, let's do Formation Flying. And we'll spend some of that air experience. See if we can get that done. Alright, come on, come on. I want Moscow. I want Moscow. Me! Oh, come on, guys. Come on, you got this. Send the infantry, too. I'm sure the infantry are faster. Right? Not really. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Forest. Mud. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's, it's still technically spring. So that... Oh, yeah, that mud is going to kill us. Okay, that's better. Now we're doing five and a half kilometers an hour. Infrastructure is the main thing holding us back, but we're going way faster now. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We can get it. We can beat them there. I believe. I believe. 16 hours. 16 hours. Two days. Oh, they're going to get Moscow. You dirty cheats. Oh, well. Oh, well. You can't have it all, guys. And not even have it all. I just wanted... 
damn it, I just wanted. Did we get it? No, we didn't get it. No, we didn't won. We didn't won at all. Alright, well, we can get there. Let's... Why, why is nobody manning this portion of the front? Okay, that is it, guys. That is it. So... Yeah, we didn't get much from the Soviets because uh, they were practically occupied by the Germans the whole time. But look at that, guys. Look at that. We get the most. Our war participation was the most. So obviously we're going to get that now. Since we are democratic, we do have a kind of a what-if scenario here. Would a democratic China... <coughs> Pardon me, guys. I'm sorry about that. Would a democratic China take from Russia, necessarily? Now, what we would do is probably unite Xinjiang and Mongolia under a united China. Is likely what we would do, I believe. So what we could do, or we could actually puppet them. Hmm. Or we could just take all of it. I think what we would do is we would take Mongolia and Xinjiang. And likely a lot of these territories here too. In order to kind of drive Russia off the eastern seaboard and get them out of Eastern affairs as much as possible. So all of it, no, we wouldn't. But what would we do? Hmm. We could satellite. You know what? Yeah, because I don't think we would. We wouldn't just... China wouldn't conquer all of Russia. It would be... Uh, logistically and in every other way, that would be a definite a future of uprisings and hell for both sides. It wouldn't. It just wouldn't work. So what we could do, I think we would turn them into a supervised state. As well as some of the former Soviet Union, uh, some of the former Comintern countries. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. See what that looks like. Because they are now our puppets. And we now have a united China. Except for these guys. These pesky bastards. Shanxi. Which got liberated uh, in the separate peace treaty with Germany. Because they had joined the Axis. And we took them out. And we had no say in what happened. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, the Italian Union. We can't do anything. Who took the Italian Union? Supervised state. Okay, so uh, Italy is now a puppet of the, the Americans. Okay, fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and puppet or satellite them. Actually, we can't. So let's pass and see if that does it for us. Yes, now we can satellite the Balkans. And possibly these other two as well. Yeah. Uh, oof. Hmm. Okay, so well, do we want to take the rest of these? No. No, we don't. Well, let's have a look. Maybe there's something we would want to take, but, uh... We could take that for the aluminum. At the end of the day, it... it it doesn't really matter, like, as far as our campaign is concerned, but looking forward, how to set up a successful China for the future without overstepping our bounds. Yeah, we could actually do this, and that makes, uh... Yeah, that would put Tanatuva within our borders, kind of protecting it, since they are a puppet state. That would make sense. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is it, guys. That is it. 
All right. Now, I'll leave the rest of Russia to be taken and carved up by the, the allies. That's up to them. Okay. So, wow. Look at this. So, this is what the world looks like, guys. <laughs> and you know the hilarious thing is... The world now looks almost outside of the size of China and our territory, but for the major players, the world looks almost the same now as it did when we started the campaign. Germany is within its starting borders the same way. Russia, The Russian Federation, outside of the small bit, relatively small bit they lost to us, looks the same. Japan obviously got turned into China. No big surprise there, but, I mean, yeah, largely, what was gained from all this bloodshed? What was gained? Nothing. Really nothing. <laughs> That's the hilarious bit. Although, I mean, I here's my thoughts on playing as China. Now, from those very tough early days, uh, and remember that I did buff uh, Japan. I gave them plus two strength uh, in the custom starting rolls. So from those very early days of just being barely able to hang on and keeping the Japanese out, putting out fires all up and down our coast all, every time they decided to, to land divisions, um, it was very difficult to stay on top of. And one lapse in attention for, you know, five, ten minutes at a time could have spelled the end. And I did actually really appreciate that. Now, once we... There was a turning point once we got them below 40 divisions where it was clear we had broken their backs to the point where they were not going to be able to give back or put back into their army um, what we had taken from it. We had destroyed a hundred some odd divisions over the course of, you know, two episodes, which is a rapid loss. And uh, that was obviously the fault of the AI. I'm not saying I'm such a great player, but it was challenging. Uh, the other bit, too, is due to the fact that uh, the I decolonized the Pacific, that prevented the Americans from really getting in here. Hawaii is its own sovereign nation here, as are all the island nations that would have either been property of the Japanese starting off or of the Americans starting off. And that kind of left this whole area neutral, really preventing the Americans from getting in here. And that was also by design. I didn't want the Americans' help taking on the Japanese. I wanted to see if a China properly played, or relatively properly played, could take on and defeat a plussed up Japan, which we did. Now, things did get a little bit goofy over here towards the end. I thought it was really bizarre that Portugal ended up on the side of the Axis. And I believe that is because... No, they are not they are not a puppet of anyone. They had a choice and they went on the side of the Axis. So that is fascinating to me. And a lot of that cropped up after the end of Germany, after Germany was beaten. So would I play this again? I would definitely play this campaign again, of course on my own time, because I would want to see what it would look like if I went to war with the Allies rather than Russia in the common turn because we could have started a war with the allies by attempting to take over British Rajasthan it would have been just that simple and we could have taken out whatever British holdings were left here uh, it wouldn't have been a lot uh, we have Hong Kong uh, we have British Malaya down here just these little places but mostly it would have opened us up to I mean a lot of naval invasions throughout the islands because again you don't start Holding these, we took this all this from the Japanese, and obviously being at war with both the Axis and the Allies leaves you in a bit of a pickle. And in that case, we might even have to look towards the Russians uh, to be friends. But this is all spitball stuff, guys. That's my take on this campaign. You guys helped me tremendously in being a second set of eyes and being good with teaching me new things, guys. Every single campaign I play, you guys teach me something new that I. You know, I've been playing Hearts of Iron for years, and you guys are still teaching me new stuff. Uh, so I really deeply appreciate that. So give me your ideas. What are we going to play next, guys, in Hearts of Iron 4? I'm open to 
any ideas at all. And once we get a few more good ones, I'm going to put up a poll and we're going to have a vote and we're going to start this all over again. A different one, of course, but if you did enjoy this, please do consider subscribing for more future videos. Like I just said, there's going to be a whole brand new campaign coming up and one after that and one after that and one after that. Um, until uh, Hearts of Iron 4 uh, burst into flames and no longer exists. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. I love you all.